Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video on the channel here. Now in today's video, guys, I'm going to be bringing you a offensive tips video today. No, it is not a scheme. I'm going to be showing you guys a cover three beater in Madden 20. This is going to be out of the strong close in formation here. And I'm currently using the Oakland Raiders playbook, but it is out of other offensive playbooks, including the San Francisco 49ers. We got the Denver Broncos, Green Bay Packers. We got the Oakland Raiders the run and gun at Tennessee Titans and the Minnesota Vikings playbook. So guys, quickly, before we get into this, make sure to smash a like and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for all the support recently. It means a lot to me. And yeah, pretty much, let's just go ahead and let's get into it. Now, I briefly, briefly elaborated on this play in the strong close scheme that I posted a couple weeks back, but this video is going to be all about it. We're going to be testing it against all the cover threes out of the 3 4 odd, which is cover three sky, match, cloud, and hard flats. So let's just get into it. We're going to pick cover three sky to start off, and then we're going to be going to PA deep. Now, if you guys remember the adjustments, you can skip this part of the video and you can move on to where I'm actually throwing the ball. I will put a timestamp in the description when you want it if you do skip to it. But if you did not watch the strong close scheme, video i'm going to be showing you the adjustments the hot routes that you have to make and then we're going to be making the throws so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to be blocking both your running back and your fullback now to block the running back you're going to double tap wire triangle and, and press the right trigger then you're going to be blocking the fullback which is wire triangle i'm going to rb and then right trigger then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to streak the tight end which is wire triangle arx and then up on the left stick Lastly, you're going to motion out the square receiver to the left, and you're going to put him on a comeback route, which is wire triangle, extra square, and then the left trigger. So the play should look like this in the end here. Now, another thing that you can do, another thing that I like to do, is I like to double team the edge rusher. Now, a clear, a clear you know, teller, if the linebacker is blitzing, because one of the outside linebackers blitzes here, is this guy right here. I'm going to mark him here. He is playing very close to the line of scrimmage. This guy is not really playing as close. So oh, you already know, I already know that the right side is going to be blitzing. So in this case here, I'm just going to double team this left side guy. And then I'm going to also slide protection to the left, which is Eleanor LB and then left on the right stick. Then also to double team, it's Eleanor LB down on the right stick. And then you move the left analog stick to the player. And it should look like this here. We're going to run this play. Just going to wait here. And right there, we're just going to throw that ball. And that was a bit heavy. I would recommend actually a low pass. It was kind of, I don't know, it was a weird thing here. I'm going to show you how to do a low pass here. Let me just quickly do that. And if you did not see that, go to my passing tips video. It's going to be in the card right now if you guys want to go and see that. But it's just very, very simple. Just going to low throw this ball. Boom, just able to thread it. And we were get, able to get an easy 30 yards if they do not lurk it here. And then also another read that you will have is going to be that comeback route. And that's pretty much it. So we're just going to run this again here. And I'm going to show you. Now, it's a weird thing here. The left side cornerback on the comeback route, what he does is he kind of gets pulled down. But once he kind of gets pulled down, I don't know, it's weird. If you have like a great quarterback like Lamar Jackson or Patrick Mahomes, you are good. You'll be able to thread that ball and get get a touchdown. However, with the lower rated quarterbacks like Gardner Minshew here, you're not going to be able to do that because the ball has got to kind of die in the air. And it could result in an interception. Now, we did not double team there, but I'm still, still getting a lot of time. Actually, he didn't really die there. I don't know. It's 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 weird, but right when that left side cornerback commits to the comeback route, that's when you want to throw it. Now, I will show you on the instant replay when he does commit where the receiver is. So, I'm just going to do a replay here. We're just going to go up and right there. So, he commits right there. And the receiver is right here. So you're gonna make make the throw when he's right when the receiver is right here, and then when the co the corner commits to that comeback route just a little bit, because then it's gonna pull him down and it's gonna allow you to throw that ball really easily over the top. Next play is gonna be cover three match. So just the same setup here. It's gonna be down in the description if you guys do need it. So once again, here's the player. We're gonna double team, slide to the left, and we're gonna hike the ball gonna wait right there just throw that ball easy and that is a touchdown you know not even getting caught like that's a touchdown right there and we're just gonna run it one more time here against cover three match so it's just very very simple here i'm just gonna show you guys the play art if you guys do need it the setups are down in the description as well so here it is and we're gonna run this and this is if you don't double team 
and you know make all those adjustments and as you can see i threw too late there and that does result in a swat so you kind of kind of you have to pick the right right place to throw it that's what i'm trying to stress here you got to pick the right place to throw that ball because if you do not throw it in the right place it's going to result in an interception and it's going to completely ruin the play so it's going to wait boom just throw that ball right when he commits and Chris Conley gets an easy touchdown there. Now we're going to move on here to cover three cloud. Now these cover threes are actually different here, these bottom two, because now instead of a corner route, there's actually a hard flat in the field right here. So it's just the same setup. Very simple. This also will look like a cover two. And I'm currently running out of the 3-4 odd. So this does look like a cover two. But the way you can tell that it is a cover three hard flat. As you can see that left corner is like more pressed onto the square receiver. Whereas that right cornerback is really backed off. So that's how you can really tell. So as you can see they did flip the play there. And we're, going, we're still going to throw this. Now that probably would be an interception online. But... You know, you pretty much get the point. We're just going to run it again. And that's what happens also if you do not double team. What the linebacker will do is the outside linebacker could rush in on you and then get an easy sack. So, just very simple. Just slide protectors to the left just to be safe. As you can see, just picks up the chop block. And then we're able to throw that, throw that over the top. Just an easy ball to Chris Conley. Gets 55, or actually 45 yards and a first down inside the red zone. So, it's very easy. You just got to kind of pick your spot where to throw it right when that corner commits on that left side that's when you want to throw that ball so i'm just going to id the mic here i'm just going to id the mic this linebacker just in case and as you can see he does not rush here so boom right when he commits throw that easy touchdown one play baby that's just how it is it's just how it works now this is strong close pa deep i just want to stress this it is strong close pa deep i will be trying to find i think i have one more cover three beater that i will tell you guys about I think I have one more here. I'm just going to run cover three cloud because I don't really feel confident with that one. But if you want also, and then this is another adjustment you should make, is if you if you worry about that left side linebacker blitzing, what you can do is just ID the mic him, which is L or LB, A or X, and then you move your left analog stick to where he is, and then you're going to hover over him and click A. So it's very simple. should look like this here, and also slide protector to the left. Gonna hike the ball. As you can see, he got really chop blocked on that play. But boom, Chris Conley gets an easy, what, like 40 something yards, and now he's inside the 10. It's just, it's very, very easy, guys. And I think it's gonna really do it for this video. Actually, you know what? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna be a bit experimental. We're gonna test this against nickel as well. I'm gonna show you it, it will work against like the nickel formation. So I'll go like big nickel over G, cover three sky. Just that simple. I'll run it against it. And I'm only going to be doing one nickel formation, but I'm going to show you that it does work against nickel and it doesn't, and it's, st it still works against nickel. So just very simple here. Now this time it's a bit different because the outside linebackers are not really present on this play. I think it's just two linebackers. So just simple. As you can see, the guys picked up. Now we go and we actually get a lot more space here, but it's just, it's super easy. Right when that corner commits, you're going to want to sling that ball and you will be able to get a touchdown. But guys, that's going to be it for the video. Hope you guys have enjoyed. If you did, smash a like, smash five likes. Thank you so much for watching. The most importantly, stay classy.